Hey there, DIY enthusiasts. Before we dive into today's project, make sure to hit that subscribe button below so you never miss out on our awesome builds here at Handy Lab. So, today we're getting crafty and building ourselves a scarecrow. Trust me, this ain't your grandma's scarecrow. This one's got style. First things first, we're bending some steel pieces to form the frame. Gotta make sure our scarecrow stands tall and proud, ready to defend those crops. Now here comes the fun part, shaping some polystyrene foam. Think of it like sculpting, but with a hot wire. It's like playing with giant fluffy marshmallows. Once we've got our foam shapes, it's time to attach them to the frame. This scarecrow is starting to look more like a superhero than a farmhand. Now, let's give our Scarecrow some personality. A few cuts here, a little smoothing there, and voila! It's like giving life to Frankenstein's monster, but way friendlier. Check it out, folks. Our scarecrow even has abs. Who knew farming could give you such a killer workout? And to top it all off, we're adding some skeleton hands and a scream mask. Because why not? Gotta keep those crows on their toes. And there you have it, our very own DIY Scarecrow. Trust me, no critter in their right mind would mess with this guy. Hey guys, Liam here! So I stumbled upon this awesome video of a crafter who's like a wood-bending wizard seriously. First off, he's joining all these pieces of wood together, like some kind of woodworking maestro. Then get this, he starts carving these crazy cool patterns on every side of the wood piece. And you know what's really cool? He's all about keeping his workspace tidy, like major respect for that. Anyway, moving on, he starts bending these pieces into the patterns he just carved, and I'm sitting here like, whoa, how's he doing that? Then he takes them off to add some glue. Gotta stick those pieces together, right? Now, 
Now, here comes the tricky part. He's working on the centerpiece. And let me tell you, it's shaping up to be one epic table stand. But hey, safety first, folks. He's reminding us to be careful as he works his magic. So after attaching some new pieces, it's time to let everything dry and of course, trim off any excess length. Gotta keep it sleek. Oh, and don't forget about smoothing out that surface. It's all about those finishing touches. And finally, it's time to bring back those bent and glued pieces. They're like the cherry on top. And voila! Check out this masterpiece, isn't it just awesome? If you're loving this content as much as I am, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe for more woodworking wonders. Peace out, y'all!